Water, Earth, Fire, and Air. Today I'll be mastering these four elements to become the Avatar. There's also a secret fifth element that I found out about. Be sure to watch until the end to see what it is. Before we do that, I need you guys' help. This right here is an Avatar-like button. If you guys hit it in the next three seconds, I will turn into the Avatar. <laughs> it works! I am Vectro Avatar! This is too much power to do! Cabbages! These, are, these aren't even cabbages, this is wheat. Thanks for the wheat, cabbage man! Wait, what is that? It's a massive temple! Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hey yo, how's it going? Beck Bro Jack here! Somebody come get their children! <laughs> Wait, what are these on the wall? An earth bending scroll. Oh, I don't want to be chased by small baby zombie children any longer. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's see what happens when I right click. I think I just became an earthbender. Okay, so it looks like we have a couple different abilities to unlock. We have earth control, mine blocks, a ravine, a wall ability, earth redirect. We can make earth spikes. Okay, so I think we need to use the scroll right here in order to unlock our first ability, which is earth control. So now if I hit my alt key, we can access our earthbending abilities. Well, this looks like a piece of earth, so let's try to control it. Wait. We can actually do it. Oh, this is so cool. What's up, little baby? <laughs> earth bend. Uh, hold on, hold on. Wait, I think I can unlock my other abilities too. Let's try out Earth Ravine. No, that is mind block. Ah, crap, 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 crap. Earth Ravine. Earth Ravine. It's working. Oh, crap, I'm gonna die. I buried the baby. There's a ton more scrolls in there that I need to go grab. Let's grab a dirt block. And let's see, can I launch it? I can. <laughs> oh, die. The little baby's still chasing me. When in doubt, people, be sure to bend it out. <laughs> okay, so right now our earthbending abilities are only probably level one. But as we use them more, we'll be able to level them up. And if we can find other bending scrolls, we can unlock more bending types. Let's grab some more food. Is this a firebender? I can trade him one diamond in order to get a tier one universal scroll that I can use to unlock any bending type. Or I can also fight him and he has a small chance of dropping the scrolls. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh God, I should have made a sword. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm flipping dead. I'm so sorry, Flamio Hotman, have yourself a great day. No, 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 die. Put the block through the door and attack. Rock throw. Earth ball. Wait, what? Is that a airbender? There's airbenders and firebenders living in the same village? Don't worry, Mr. Airbender, I will defeat the Fire Nation. Oh, we got him! Before this place burns down, let's head inside and see what we got. So we got two tier one scrolls and we got a tier one firebending scroll. And I just used the scroll and we unlocked firebending. That means we're one step closer to becoming the avatar. Okay, we can use our tier one scroll to get a fire shot, which is a small utility and offensive ability that lights fires and keeps mobs at bay. It also can smelt items. Unlock Sparky Sparky Boom Man, get fire shotted. Oh, we could also use Earth Ball. Oh, he's right behind me. I'm still so weak. By the end of today's episode, I should be able to one-shot every single mob. Ravine. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> we took down the creeper. Knock, knock, FBI. How's it going today? Federal Beck Bro Jack investigation unit here. Confiscate your potatoes and all your bread. And also this really cool looking axe. I guess we'll take the pants too. Wow, they have a lot of bread in here. Oh, they have an iron sword. We'll take the bow. More potatoes, the more bread. I might as well also sleep in their bed too while I'm up here. There's just a scroll lying over here. Wait, no. The airbender must have gotten exploded by a creeper. It was you. No, wait, it actually couldn't have been this creeper because if the creeper exploded, then the creeper would no longer be alive. But I will still get revenge using firebending and also earthbending. Or you can just explode like Sparky Sparky Boom Man. Combustion bending. Let's try to use this airbending scroll in order to unlock the first airbending ability. It worked! Look at that! There's air gust, air jump, air blade, cloud burst, air bubble, air burst, slipstream. And because we have a tier four scroll, we should be able to unlock a tier four airbending ability. Let's see if we can unlock air burst. It works! No way! We can slowly draw the surrounding air inwards, then release it in a massive blast. Let's try it out. Whoa. Let's see what happens. So, oh, okay. Okay, I accidentally punched the pig, so sorry about that, piggy. Okay, we're gonna hold down, right click to pull in all of the air, and then we're going to unleash. <laughs> right now, it's not very powerful, but in the future, when we upgrade it, it is going to be able to fling mobs back. There are more scrolls up in here, so we might as well go at least try to grab them, and then we can maybe max out our earthbending powers. 
This must be some really old earthbending temple where they left behind all of these scrolls. But I'm yoink these two. Using all of those scrolls, I was able to max out every single one of the earthbending abilities. We could just pull up a wall in front of us. We can create tiny earth spikes that will shoot mobs up into the air. The last bending type we need to master is water. Wait, look, there it is. That'll be what it sounds like when I find out exactly what I'm looking for, which I'm not even really sure. There should be some sort of water temple around here somewhere with some leftover water scrolls. Or we could just play with the baby penguin sea otter. Oh, and I can ride them. <laughs> this is so cool. Wait, this is literally a dream come true. Let's move, pickles. We need to find the water scrolls and then I can officially become the avatar. After I do that, I can master all four elements. Wait, what is this? I see firebenders. Bruh, bruh, bruh. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I've leveled up a few of my abilities. Like I can, I can jump pretty far. I have, the, I have this cool like jumping ability. I could also shoot out pretty powerful fireballs now, but it looks like they're protecting something. So we're going to have to defeat them. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, they're all moving in. <laughs> this is bad. Luckily, my fireball ability is maxed out almost. It's level three. So in order to max out the abilities, I'm pretty sure you need to get four different levels. The more you use them, the faster they'll level up. And then you could use the scrolls in order to get their final ability. Okay, let's try to use our earth control ability. I upgraded a little bit so that I can now have two balls of earth that are defending me and I don't have to worry about them hitting me with fireballs. We could also go in and try to use our cloud bubble ability. Oh my goodness. And come on, Unleash. That did nothing. It just literally flung me back. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't think I'm ready for this. And we flee the battle scene. Back on another pickles. Let's move pickles. Yes, eat earth balls. <laughs> Nerds. What did I just do to that earth block? It is ascending to heaven. Maybe it's going to see Sokka's girlfriend. Earth ball, earth ball. Somehow I am beating these Flamio Hotmans. Oh my gosh, wait, I think they just killed each other. They didn't drop any scrolls though. Hey, how's it going, big bro Flamio Hotman? At your service. Yo, back up, boy. You got nothing on me. I got I got all three elements. I'm about to get the fourth element, bro. You don't stand to chase. Do you not know who you're dealing with? <laughs> I'm making these firebenders look silly out here. Stay back. I will trap you in a dirt block. Well, that was awkward. That didn't work at all. Hoi! Hey, yoink! Yeah! Fireball! Let's use our air bubble. Or not. Oh, we took down another one. And wait, we got another scroll. Okay, let's go back to our firebending bending experience, and then we should be able to unlock another ability. That was a tier four scroll. So let's see if we can unlock flamethrower with it. It worked! We're surrounded! Let's try it out flamethrower! Oh! <laughs> It's a tiny little flame, but it's still super effective. And we can combine it with our fireball ability. <laughs> Fire is super effective against zombies. Eat dirt ball. The firebenders are busy fighting other mobs. We should be able to use our air leap to go down. Oh, this is really awkward. Oh, <laughs> out of one punch. We made it down into their secret dungeon. This reminds me of the fire crypts on Fire Island. Hey, what are these? Water bending scroll. Wait, they've been guarding scrolls. We can now unlock the last element. Let's go ahead and collect this. That doesn't really look like a scroll. That says water skin. Wait, from the show, I'm pretty sure Katara uses something like this so that she's able to have a little pouch of water with her at all times. I'm probably not powerful enough to bloodbend, so we'll have to stick with this as my main form of water. No, 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 not today, Spires. You will get burned to death. All right, well, let's see if this actually works. We can right click down with the water bending scroll. We have done it. We have water bending, fire bending, earth bending, and air bending. Well, we should probably go through and use our different scrolls in order to unlock our water bending abilities. There's the wave ability. The water skate ability, a water blast that just fires a stream of water in any direction, and also the final ability, the cleanse ability, which should be able to restore health to any single player that's nearby. So we have the wave ability that just shoots out water from, I guess, my water skin pouch. Let's see. Oh, wait, it does damage. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Pickles, you saw nothing. We can also try the water skate ability. Oh, what? No way. This is so <laughs> useful. Not enough chi. Wait, what does that mean? Am I gonna am I gonna start drowning? We're glitching out. <laughs> We're glitching out. <laughs> I ran out of chi, so I'm not able to do it. I'm not that powerful of an avatar yet. What does water blast do? What? What? That is crazy. We can charge it up and then we can just shoot a blast in any direction. Uh, mind the blocks. What? Mind the blocks? Ooh. I don't even need a pickaxe anymore. Wait, no way. We just found a mine shaft. Let's test out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I was able to upgrade a couple of abilities in the meantime. I've been fighting mobs all night. So let's try out some of our new abilities. It's the same abilities. That is fire shot. It literally just creates a tornado of fire around my body. <laughs> 
You want some fire, pal? Well, you're gonna get it anyway. <laughs> we can also try our Earth Spikes ability. After I back everybody up. Oh, more scrolls too. Ooh, diamonds. I wonder if I could use my mind blocks ability to mine the diamonds. Oh, I can. Let's go. Wait, why are there so many diamonds? Wait, that's eight diamonds. Nah, 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 nah. There, there is no way this is real. I've never gotten that many diamonds in one single vein. We just got 11 diamonds. That means you guys need to leave at least 11,000 likes on today's video. <laughs> Do it with your foot. What's inside this? <gasps> Chainmail bison armor, another scroll, and a master glider. Wait, no way. Is this the staff that Aang uses in order to fly around? Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Air jump, and then can we glide with this? Wait, it does work. So if I right click, wait, it turns into the glider. And then if I use it in conjunction with the air jump ability, we can literally just fly around. I just found out there's one final bending type that we can unlock by going to the nether. The portal is built. Can I mine these blocks? Okay, cool. Earth bend. Uh, earth ball. Mine the earth. Let's test out if I can use a fire bending ability to light this. It set everything on fire but the portal? <laughs> Why? Why did that work? What about a fireball? Nope. Oh, wait, it literally lit it on fire. I saw it. Flamethrower. <laughs> Why doesn't it work? What's the point of being a firebender if I can't light a simple nether portal? I'll stand far away. It seems like the fire spreads out. And it did. It worked. Heh, <laughs> take that, idiot. In order to get my hands on the rare bending form, we need to go find a nether fortress. I wonder if I can water bend in the nether. Can I use a, use a water blast? That is illegal. What just happened? You can't have water in the nether. All right, we found the fortress. While we're here, we need to defeat blazes, and also we need to locate chests. There's a small chance that I can get a combustion bending scroll. <laughs> Wait, it worked. We have one, two, three, four different combustion bending scrolls. Yes, we unlock combustion bending. Okay, now if we go in, we can unlock two new abilities. We have the explosion ability, and we also have the explosive pillar. We are now Beck Bro Sparky Sparky Boom Man. <laughs> The first one is just the explosion. I can use that from anywhere, and it works from super long distances. And then there's the explosive pillar that I can shoot on the ground, and then it explodes in a sequence. <laughs> I love it. We have some flaming blazes over here. Let's explode them. Oh, we can use our air blade too. I completely forgot about that ability. Eat fireballs. Wait, fireballs probably are not super effective against blazes because they're already on fire. Big wind and explosions. Well, that was pretty successful. We have seven blaze rods. We'll go ahead and turn those into blaze powder. And now before I burn to death, let's glide our way back to the portal. Lastly, we need to defeat some endermen to get some ender pearls, and then we can test out our avatar abilities on the ender dragon. Uh The Endermen have been dropping a lot of scrolls, so I think I could go ahead and get some new abilities. Let's go ahead and test out Flame Strike. Punch. Ooh. I like it. Ah, my old friend. Not you. You are not my old friend. We gotta go fast here. Just enough. Let's go. Wait, guys, I just realized I don't have any armor. I don't think I've really had armor throughout the entirety of today's video. The avatar doesn't need armor. Fireball. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. I wonder if we can use our combustion bending in order to go past the iron bars. I think it worked. Yeah, it's no longer getting healed from the end crystal. Well, that's good. The end crystals are destroyed. Fireball. Oh my gosh, we stopped it in its tracks. I also have an airbending ability called Slipstream, which allows me to run super fast. The Ender Dragon landed. Let's try out a water blast. Oh, the Ender Dragon is just not affected by water at all. Crap, dude. Crap, crap, crap. What do I do now? Wait, my airplane ability does a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. The more times I'm using it, the better I'm getting at it. We can also try to use Fireball. These air blades are so effective and they barely cost any cheese, so I can just spam them. And the Ender Dragon has no idea where I am because I use the Slipstream ability. We gotta keep going. Yo, dude, okay, I'm using so many of my abilities at the same time. Using Air Blade, Cloud Burst, Fireball, Fire Explosion. Air and Fire are super effective right now. Oh my goodness, my computer can't even handle it. This is insane. I have a bubble of wind and two fireballs surrounding my body. The Ender Dragon stands no chance. This should be it. Come on. Come on, we're so close. Yes. We've done it! We beat Minecraft as the Avatar. Smash like, hit subscribe, or else I'll punch you with a flame fist.